Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back, it's Steve. Today's video is to tell you what I think is the best capture card to use with the Sony camera in OBS. So I have tried two different capture cards. I've tried the Elgato Cam Link, and I also have this off-brand that I bought off of Amazon. Now, the Cam Link was over $100, and this one I think was 25 or 30. So you would think the cam link is better. Well, I've been testing these two for a while now. And when it comes to quality in OBS, I personally can't even tell the difference between the quality. So there's another factor that is pointing me to one direction. You know, I'm not a professional. Maybe a professional will be able to tell the difference in video quality when using one or the other. I couldn't. But there was one thing that kind of put one of them over the edge a little bit. And I will tell you what that is right now. That is the frames per second that you're allowed to use in OBS when you connect the camera with one of these. And I'll just show you exactly what I mean by that. So let me just put this down for a second. I'm going to be testing this theory with my Sony a7 III. So let me just put this right over here. And I have my Sony a7 III just set to shoot video in 30 frames per second. So that's what I have in my camera, 30 frames per second. All right, let me do a screen recording, get that ready. All right, now the first one that I'm going to use is the Elgato Cam Link. All right, so we'll plug it in. And now we'll plug it into the computer. All right, it's plugged in. Now you can see I'm waving my hand. That is my camera. And I'm shooting at uh, 30 frames per second. So now watch. When I go into the settings, we have my cam link. I'm shooting HD. That's what my camera is set at. And now right here, my frame rate. It's at 59.94 frames per second in OBS. So I'll just change that to 30. Well, you can't. I don't know why. With the Elgato Cambling Capture Card, it seems like you have to shoot 60 frames per second in your camera because you only get the option of 59.94 frames per second in OBS when you connect it. So I'll just hit cancel. Now I'll take out the cam link. Okay, and now we have the cheap card that I got. We'll plug this in. We're all good there. Still, Sony a7 III, 30 frames per second. Now we'll plug this in. Okay, now we'll go double click. We have to change it from cam link to USB video because that's what comes up for this card. And there's the proof, there is the video. My hand again. All right, it's at 1080p. That's what my camera is set at. And now, Frames per second, oh no, it's 59.94. Well, let's see. Well, look at that. With this cheap little capture card, I could choose from five frames per second all the way up to 60. And there's 30. So now I have my camera set at 30 frames per second to shoot. And in OBS, I have it set to import at 30 frames per second. And I hit OK. And... <laughs> It just works. So I honestly have no idea why that is. Um, from what I've been reading, technically Sony's only export HDMI to 60 frames per second. I don't know. I've read some articles and I've seen some say that. So let me just unplug this again. When it comes down to what is the best capture card, and I'm specifically talking about if you're using your Sony, like I have my Sony ZV-E10 or my a7 III, if you're using your Sony as a webcam in OBS, do you use the cam link or do you use the cheap card? Well, if you're shooting in 60 frames per second, as you saw, it doesn't matter. But if you're shooting in 30 frames per second, like I like to, then I have to use the cheap card. So for this video, the best capture card for a Sony camera to use in OBS 
is the cheap one. Let me know what you think below. Am I crazy? Do I not know what I'm doing in OBS? Am I not changing the settings correctly? Let me know. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and keep hitting that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.